Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Functional Beauty with Alicia Larie. If you don't already know, I'm Alicia and I'm a blogger over at alicialarie.com. I'm also a mom to three kids, three dogs, two cats, and a turtle. We recently bought our forever home on two acres and we have so many projects that we want to do with this property. So if you like anything that has to do with the home, home organization, home decor, DIYs, cleaning motivation, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and stick around. You can also follow me on Instagram at Alicia Larie. Today's project is going to be putting together a new home for our baby turtle. This is our teeny tiny little girl, Michelle. We originally built her, or my husband built her, this little box that you see here, but it's just not holding up to the moisture, so I ordered a new one off of Amazon, and we are going to put this together and set it up for her. And if you're curious about anything that I use in this video for this project, I have a whole blog post of, about it over on alicialarie.com. I'll put the link in the description box and uh, everything that I used is linked in my shop page. I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me it seems that you're dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take so this was pretty surprisingly easy to put together. I was able to do it on my own. I just put the frame and everything together and then my husband helped me put the lids on because there are pre-drilled holes in everything except for the lid. So you do have to drill the holes for those. So I had my husband help me with that, but everything else I was able to do by myself. To me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think. So after I got these pieces together, I realized that I put the window panel on the wrong side. It should be on the other side. So I had to switch those around, but I don't really like reading directions to be honest. And I just kind of gl glance over them and then just put it together. So sometimes that's just the way it goes and I have to backtrack and uh, I don't know why I'm like this. I don't know why I'm like this. It probably is more time consuming than just reading the instructions, but it is what it is. Let me figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down Get up and start from the ground
now that we put the box together it's time to start filling it up I am using this coconut substrate coconut fiber substrate and it, it is in brick form so it requires some water so I'm just adding water and then I'm gonna prop it up and let it kind of sit for a few minutes while we work on some other things Right here I'm putting in plastic mats on the bottom of the wood and this is just going to protect the wood from getting moldy once I put everything in it. So Brooklyn and I are just going to move the old house out of the way so that we can make room for the new one and then we will start putting stuff in. Okay, so this side of the enclosure, the smaller side, I'm going to be putting that coconut fiber substrate in and that it stays really moist. So I put an extra layer of plastic down in that side. I just used a shower curtain, cut it to size and then stapled it so it was uh, like two to three inches up on the sides so that it would keep that wood from getting moldy because that was a big thing that we had a problem with in our other enclosure. So here are all the things that we have to fill her house up and I'm really excited to get it all filled up for her. So here I'm just tearing apart this coconut fiber substrate and you just kind of have to keep doing this and adding a little bit of water until it's the consistency that you want. And then I'm going to be adding these coconut husks for a little bit of different texture. Now for the really fun part we get to decorate. I love this part of putting together her home. So I'm just adding her favorite little hiding pot here in the corner and some sphagnum moss and I just kind of like move stuff around until I like the way it looks. Now on to the other side, I have these little coconut fiber mats that I used in the other cage. So I'm going to try to figure out if they actually fit in this one. This box is a little bit different sized than the other one. They're pretty much the same, but it's a little bit different. So I kind of had to figure out what I wanted to do here with the mats. So again, I'm just kind of playing around with things to see how I like how it looks and uh, then we decorate. So enjoy the process. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall, but tonight I'm letting it go, spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else. Skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me 
drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me I literally could not figure out what to do with this stick. It was driving me nuts. I ended up, I was actually just gonna not use it at all, but then I found a spot for it and you will see at the end, but I moved this thing around so many times, I don't even know. <laughs> Now we are done and ready to put her back in. I didn't film some of the rest of the details of decorating because I just moved stuff around so much that this would be such a long video. So we put her in here and it was so cute because she just, sometimes when you put her back into her home, she'll just get in there and like dart to wherever she wants to go. But when we put her back in this time, she just kind of like looked around and it was super cute. Here it is all finished up. I absolutely love it. Michelle loves it. She loves all the different places to hide and to dig. And I really love all of the live plants that are in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this little space for her to grow and be happy. And I'll see you guys next time. And as always, if you want to follow me on any other social media platform, it's always at Alicia Lurie. Bye, guys.